morning, happy July 3rd. I am out for about a mile run. Uh, I cross strained, but the baby was with me and like sitting on my stomach. So it was too hard to video record that. But good news, skunk that I thought was underneath my car is not underneath my car. At like 5.15 this morning, my husband caught a notification on our Nest can't ring camera and he looked at it. If there was a skunk, I'll put in a video clip that like was in our backyard and like crossed underneath and was in my car and then from the angle we couldn't see what if it had left i'm sure it had left right away and now it is 6 30 so i waited an hour and 15 minutes to make sure the skunk wasn't underneath my car because i have no chill when it comes to wildlife animals like i live in the suburbs i don't really do animals we don't have pets it's not really my thing so but the skunk is gone I'm sure it was just using our house as like a cut, like a shortcut, but Taylor had a run in with a skunk this last month too. Yikes, all right, I'm off to go running. All right, back from my run, I encountered no other nature, so all is well. I am still caught up on the majority of my Christmas in July pattern goals. Um, I'm a little bit behind on the Vesuvius cow, but I'm just gonna accept it because crocheting is hard on my shoulder so I can only really do four or five rows a day without my shoulder getting all messed up so I'd rather not get messed up so if it takes me longer than the month of July then it takes me month of, longer than the month of July um, but everything else is pretty much caught up I'm actually a little bit ahead on my cozy memories goals and then today I am starting my test knit for a lingerie knits which is the melting treat socks which i think i have to knit on nine inch circulars because they've got color work in the transition they're really cute i picked out my minis i'm excited for them and today's advent color i think it's only a 10 gram mini so i don't even know if that's enough for my stripe in the blanket today and my sister so helpfully told me was like dude you know the advent has different weights of yarn and different like fingering and DK and different amounts. I'm like, what? No, I did not know that because I forgot when I opened it the first time, but I will make it work. It will be fine. I'm also supposed to tell you that the socks that we are making for July are not the morning coffee socks. They are the morning walk socks. Whoops. Also the colorway that Chaley gave me for July is by Whimsical Wood Yarn Company, and the colorway is called Summer. I think that is it. Last night, Chaley and my parents were watching the vlog. My mom thought I was hilarious. Um, and my sister's like, I've yelled at the TV six times, Gabs, which is kind of on par for my regular chaotic self. So I think those are all the updates, but I'm sure as my sister is watching this, she will yell at me again, and then I will have things to update in a few days. Catch you soon. <music> about 10 o'clock um i dropped lottie off at summer camp it is her first day doing a library summer camp which i hope she has a good time um it's only nine to noon but i did send her with a whole lunch she requested bananas strawberries juice and a jam sandwich so that is what we packed her um eleanor is napping we are currently weaning her off her pacifier at nap times so we'll see how successful that is it is day three with no pacifier she's 18 months so we're hoping 
we're hoping that we can get her off her pacifier by the time she's two. Um, she only uses it in her crib. She only uses it in her crib. Like she's not allowed to have it any other times. We gave, we did give it to her on the airplane in Colorado because I think her ears were popping. So we gave her that and then we gave it to her when we were making the um, like climbing from Denver into Breckenridge and from Breckenridge into Denver because we couldn't get her to swallow because her ears were popping. But other than that, that's like the first, that's the only time she's had her pacifier out of her crib in like six months. So we're working on a gradual <laughs> weaning. Lottie never had a pacifier. Um, it just didn't work out. We had, we thought we had brush, so I never get, ended up giving it to her. And by the time we were ready to give it to her, it was like, she was like five months old and we were, we had made other arrangements for her. So she never had one. So this is our first time on passy weaning. It's going, it's going, it's slow going. So I'm not sure. She only has five teeth. So we're a little slow on the teeth, but this is an Omami vlog. This is a knitting vlog. So let me tell you about my knitting today. I am working on my Cozy Memories blanket. I have, I started my square for today, last night. That's why it's in my little needle cozy. I made this one. You can check out and see how I made it in our 30 Cozies in 30 Days Challenge. It's a little DPN cozy. And then I'm actually almost done. Let me show you. It's almost as my last square of this row, which is my June row. And then I, it's in my, this colorway is the, is by Onyx Fiber Arts and the colorway is Sybil. To be honest, I'm not sure if Onyx Fiber Arts is still dyeing yarn. Um, I checked out their Instagram and like their latest post was like 20 weeks ago, which seems like, what was that like? maybe January. So I'm not sure if they've just taken a break or they're not dyeing yarn anymore, but that's what this is. And I'm kind of going along on this. My goal was to do one row a month and this would be, this is wrapping up June. So I'm not that far behind to do a row for July. I finished my yarnable socks last night. So all I have to do is take a photo of them and those are good to go and then so today i can cast on my newest test knit which is for i've talked about it i'm very excited about it so but i'm gonna do my cozy memories blanket now because it is it's the least portable of my projects like i can't take it anywhere so i try and do it when i've got time to sit on the couch because it's let me see if i can do this let me put these dpm cozies back on um it is, oopsies, I did this wrong. Um, it's pretty big and I don't wanna bring like the whole barrel which that it's in, in the car or something. Like if I go someplace in my head, I, I'm not that good of a driver, like I drive, but if someone else can drive, they're driving. Even if it's my car, happy to drive. That's why any of our travel vlogs, that is just me and my sister, Chaley's driving. Um, so I don't wanna bring this all in the car, car myself because it's pretty big. Like, and it's hot, it's supposed to be 92 today. It's looking pretty good. It's just not a portable project. And then the bag that I have it in is really big. So I don't want it on my lap in the car. The only time I really brought it in the car is when we were driving from Tahoe because I knew it was gonna be a big long trip and I could like get cozy and set up. So I did that because um, I knew I wanted to put some squares in, which was back in April. But other than that, I'm really trying not to like towed it around with me so I'm gonna try and finish the square and then I think I'm going to do I think I'm gonna do my crocheted my Vesuvius cowl next and then my dust of snow because the socks from Freckled Whimsy and the um, Battenberg are my most portable projects I think the Battenberg's the most portable right because it's just like this like little square that I can tote around. I have a doctor's appointment later on today, so I'll probably bring my Battenberg into the waiting room with me. And that's about it. I have some, I have delicious lunch plans. I'm making Spam Musubi for lunch. So I just started to make the rice and my husband said he'd make butter chicken for dinner tonight, which is my like favorite food that he makes. It's pretty good. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna sit down, watch some YouTube and I will, Check in with you, check in with you hopefully later on today.
Let me tell you about this amazing package that I got from Dana Ray Makes as a prize for her Christmas in July make along. It's really crazy cool. So it comes with a magnet, a yarn, a measuring tape magnet, this super cute Christmas present progress keeper, some tea, which is gingerbread joy from twining. So I've got two packs of that, which is going to be great. I also have this cute little Santa notepad, which will be super cute for notes. If my daughters don't steal it, something that is wrapped in this bag, which it's got like candy cane. It's got candy cane tape on it. How cute is that? Oops. In this bag. Oh, oh. <gasps> They're ornaments. They're these beautiful snowflake. There's four. There's four of them. I'm going to take out one. There's these beautiful snowflake ornaments. These are gorgeous. And all of that's amazing. And on top of it, look at these self striping minis. I think there are 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there. I think there are 12 of them and they're so cute. Let me pull one out to show you. This one is 10 to 12 gram. Sorry for the yelling. My kids are playing. 10 to 12 gram sock mini skein set. And this says, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. And they're all different ones. I think it's a calendar. Like this one says scheme big. And it is, they're all 10 to 12 gram minis. Some are similar, but not exactly the same. So I'm going to share them with my sister. So 10 to 12 gram minis is definitely enough for two, for both of us to get stripey socks. So I think um, this will be our Christmas, um, over Christmas break when she comes home, what we're gonna do, I hope. I hope that's what we do, because I think that would be so fun. Plus then I don't have to wind all the balls and divide them in half to give them to her, that we can just knit, with, knit what we need with it and then put, pop it over and give it to the next person. That's what I'm hoping to do because I really don't want to slip them all. But I will lay it out and take a really pretty picture of them. But isn't that note so sweet? Thank you so much, Dana. They came so quick. They are beautiful. It is definitely still time to do the Christmas in July. Make along if you want to jump in. She's Dana Ray Makes on Instagram and you use the hashtag I think it's Christmas in July Mal, M-A-L 2023 to post anything that you're going to. All the details are on our Instagram page. Check it out. It's super cool. Anyway, see you soon.